Would you like to feed yeah. the ducks? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. That'd be lovely. <laughs> <laughs> we can bring some bread. Mum, may I borrow some bread to feed the ducks? Can I have some seeds, you know? Some seeds? I need something healthy. Healthy ducks. I mean, I mean, I always used to bring bread for the ducks. Oh, is it not good for them? I don't know. I mean, I think they'll be fine. I don't think anything bad will happen. I used to bring Daisy to feed these ducks and she used to eat the bread. Steal bread. Oh. <laughs> I need to look away if we had that and be like, oh, it's gone. You still eat the bread. You've got to eat some bread during the evening. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, we've got to say well done. Oh, thank you. We're just going to go feed the ducks. See you in a wee bit. Um, they're my best friends from primary school's parents, oh. which is nice. Yeah, it's nice because when I come here, like I know, I know sort of everyone. So, how much has your life changed? Well, yeah, it does feel like things have changed, but also I guess for everyone at the minute, life has significantly shifted. To be honest, I feel like I'm living in this strange topsy-turvy world. It's surreal anyway walking down the high street and feeling like it's polite to dodge people. <laughs> when yeah. before obviously if you cross the road and people walking down it's not it's quite rude but now it's like polite to do that. Yeah. So that's already weird with the added thing of now I'm having quite a lot of prolonged eye contact but I can't work out if that's because I'm staring at people because <laughs> I haven't seen many other people or they're or they're staring at me because they yeah, recognize me. Yeah. yeah. Who is your biggest inspiration? Like, um, I actually really love Michelle Williams because yeah. I think that um, she's always made really, really interesting choices and, you know, she's just incredible as an actor. I mean, Blue Valentine is one of my favourite films and I think, I guess, I think she's really cool because she chooses really interesting filmmakers, which is what I'm interested in, you know, because I, I myself would love to be a director, actually. So, oh, would you? Yeah. I think um, that's what I enjoyed most about Normal People is I, I learned so much about the craft of camera and see it's why I find your cameras really yeah. interesting because I'm like, find it cool how lens can change a kind of, well change everything yeah. and actually how how it affects your acting as well. Yeah, just walks into a <laughs> Do you want to go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's you um, Yeah, if you follow, come with me. <laughs> <laughs> Duck feeding in a pandemic. But I don't think any ducks are going to come. They are going to come. You just got to watch out for that massive swan over there. So when did the show first air? What? Um, was it February or March? I think it was end of March. Or it might have been... No, I think it might have been end of April. I think it was end of April, actually. Okay, so right in lockdown. Yeah. So you had a captive audience. Yes, a trapped audience. <laughs> well, I've watched it once when it first aired on the BBC on the Sunday. I watched it with my flatmates all in order. And that was really magic because I hadn't seen it in order. So it was like, oh, wow. Like, you, yeah, that was really cool. And it, and I was relieved, actually, because, you know, didn't I didn't know myself what I felt about it. And I enjoyed watching it. And I was like, okay, that's good. At least, I, at least I'm enjoying it and my family are proud, you know. Yeah. What directors inspire you the most? I've always loved Wes Anderson, um, just because I'd like to live m my life in a completely symmetrical aesthetic, I think. <laughs> a yellow really, symmetrical. Yeah, everything be sepia, and I quite like that idea. Um, I love Greta Gerwig as well. I think yeah. her stories and her filmmaking is really great. Eey, come over here! <gasps> I think they're the cutest baby animal. I think ducklings are the cutest baby animal, definitely. I used to really believe in fairies and gnomes and things when I was younger. And my dad would take me up here to learn to ride my bike, because this little flat bit. And there is a wee man who comes here all the time and he, he's a bird watcher and he uses little binoculars. But anyway, he looks very much like a, a gnome, like in terms of like a magical gnome, like the white beard. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I, was, I couldn't learn to ride the bike. And it was like, I just was like complaining to my dad that it was never gonna happen whatnot and the wee man overheard and he was like um today's the day and it was and i to this day still believe he's a magic gnome <laughs> oh that's a lovely story i really believe it because he honestly i've never really seen him since it's nice to be more appreciative too of like your outdoor spaces and stuff like Ooh. i found all these new walks and things because you know the one daily walk it's like where are we going it's yeah, the yeah, big yeah. treat <laughs> oh can i have a bit higher that smells really nice well, in the pie, well, we'll to the pie, everyone's here for the paella, but you can, maybe you can have some dough. I won't nick your paella. I'd like to. Okay, I'm going to bugger off. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you.
Thank, thank you, you so much. much. Thank you. Thank you.